Hey guys, it's Kimberly. Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to get this kind of creepy scarecrow look. Really quick, really easy, um, kind of choppy because it was supposed to be a longer video. Okay guys, so using the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color San Juan, which is a really pretty orange color, I'm going to start on one cheek and do a circle. Now normally perfect circles are really hard, so I'm going to get as close as I can and if it's not perfect, it's fine. It's Halloween makeup. It's supposed to look like a cloth patch that's been sewn onto the face of a scarecrow. So, honestly, most people can't cut a perfect circle either. So, like I said, if it's not a perfect circle, if they're both not even, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to get the basic shape of two circles on each cheek. Each one gets one circle and fill it in. So I did speed this up, but it just didn't look faster. I'm going to put a triangle on my nose. I did not contour my nose, um, obviously, because I didn't want to add any shape to it. I just want the triangle shape to be the nose of the scarecrow. So I'm just going to draw that on and then uh, color it in just like I did the circles. And then I decided to go ahead and add some of that color to my lips and just bring, you know, them into the look. So yeah, I'm just going to put this on the way it's supposed to be put on, like lipstick. I'm going to go into the 35OM palette by Morphe and just use that really pretty bright orange. came out looking more burnt orange on my skin, but I'm just popping this into my crease and blending it with a, well I'm popping it in here with this brush and then I'm going to blend it out with a clean brush and this is just to add some definition and some color and it's all I'm going to do for eyeshadow. Using IT Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Liner, I'm going to go ahead and do my tight line and my waterline. This just really, I just really like the way it makes my eyes look. It, kind of shapes them out, gives them some definition, you know, that kind of thing. And yes, I do realize that I'm smearing that orange everywhere now that I'm watching it, and I did realize it later on, but at this point in filming, I did not know. Like, I didn't even see it. With the waterline, I am bringing it down to my lash line and slightly below just to make it look thicker down there. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. They never hold the curl, so I didn't bother to do too much. Just give them a little squeeze. And then I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash. This is just going to cov cover the like powder foundation, whatever I got on my lashes, just so they kind of blend in a little more. I started using the No Tug uh, It Cosmetics Liner, but it wasn't working. So I switched to this Galactic Beauty uh, Eyeliner Marker. And what I'm doing is drawing my lower lashes on. This really wasn't working either, and my lashes came out so much bigger than I wanted them to. Like, I didn't want them to be this big. But I switched to the Revlon Color Stay and just kind of went with it. It worked a lot better than the other two, but I did have to stick with the really large lashes. So I just kind of tried to make it work. So I'm just outlining them with this and trying to make it look smooth and straight lined didn't really work because I had just already messed it all up but uh, yeah I'll just do that on both eyes came out so much better on the second eye even though they're totally asymmetrical which is okay they don't need to match and then I'm using the IT Cosmetics gel liner to fill those in it was just a little easier than constantly having to load up that little brush with liquid liner. Um, so yeah, that's just how I chose to fill them in. It was really hard because it says no tug, but it does tug. And you know, you don't want that tugging under your eye. So I was trying to be extra gentle. And yeah, this was a harder process. I probably should have just used Halloween cream makeup, but I just wanted to use regular makeup that anybody had in their house. Going back in with the Revlon Liquid Liner, I'm going to outline those circles. Like I said, I had to keep loading up the product. Uh, you know, it's just a tiny little 
brush. I probably should have used a regular brush and some cream makeup. But this is what I chose to go with, so. Uh, yeah, just gonna outline both circles and then also outline the triangle, which I ended up messing up on the nose and going bigger than I had already done the circle, I mean, done the triangle. So as soon as I'm done here, I do end up going in and filling in like that empty space that I just did. Yeah, had to fill those in. Now I'm gonna add little stitches. And I'm just gonna add these in. Uh, I was being a little carefree with them and you know, they don't need to be even. This is like hand sewn stitches type of thing. Like maybe we're a scarecrow that a kid put together. But I ended up being a little too carefree on this circle over here. These stitches just look all wonky. So I went with a different pattern. Then I decided to go ahead and do the lips the same way to make my mouth look like it's also just a sewn on patch. And I tilted the ends upwards so that it'd be kind of smiling and not so scary looking. Because those eyelashes and like the really messed up stitching kind of giving it a creepier feel. And I wanted this to be more of a cute scarecrow. But I ended up getting a little thick on the mouth. And then when I did this inner line, it got all, it bled everywhere. I'm going to add stitches in there, and now my scarecrow look is just creepy. Not really scary, I don't think, but it's def definitely not a cute scarecrow anymore. So, yeah, I'm just adding these stitches, and now I'm a creepy scarecrow. And I'm even going to add stitches, yeah, right there on the inner line to make it look like my mouth is also stitched closed, because why not? Hair, I'm going to make sure my part is straight. And then I'm going to brush out both sides. Well, obviously all my hair. Just want to make sure there's no knots or tangles or anything in it. And then I'm just going to do two little pigtail braids. Um, not French braid, nothing fancy, nothing like that. And just use a hair tie. Like I would with any braid. And while I was doing this, I realized that I had not finished my makeup. Because I wanted to do lashes on the top and I had forgotten to. So I just did it with the Revlon liquid liner and I just outlined them and filled them in with that same liner. And then I was done with the look. Okay guys, so this is the Scarecrow look. It's really simple, really easy. Um, if you don't want to do stitches around your mouth, that is totally up to you. But I thought it would look more Scarecrow-y. So yeah, this is my scare scarecrow look. You can pair it with a hat, like some kind of straw hat, like this kind of material, and either plaid or flannel. You can put overalls or just jeans, uh, whatever you feel is scarecrow worthy. Real quick, real easy.